In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply a photo effect to your image. I'm working from filters effects styles.jpg, which is found within your project files folder within chapter 16. As you'll see up here, we have an effects panel. Within the effects panel, we have quite a few different options of effects and filters that are available. I'm working from the third tab here, which is called photo effects. Now, before I start applying a photo effect to my image, I need to come down and have a look at my layers panel. And I need to realize that if I was going to apply one of these photo effects, that would be happening to my original background layer. Ideally, you don't want to overwrite the information on this layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Ctrl J and that'll duplicate that layer. I can turn the background layer off and that just means it's there and I can always go back to my original image if I need to and I don't need to worry about overwriting my original pixels. So now with this new layer selected, I'll come up here to the effects panel once again. We've already got our photo effects selected. If I come across to the drop down menu, you'll see we have a few options. Faded photo, frame, miscellaneous effects. We've got monotone color, old photo, vintage photo. We also have the ability to show all these effects within this panel. If I choose show all, you'll see all the effects are now available. If I was wanting to apply a really old looking effect to this photo, I may come up and select one of these ones here. I'll choose old paper. I'll press apply. And now what you'll notice is Photoshop Elements will go through the motions of applying this to my photo. As you can see now, if I zoom in by pressing Ctrl, Alt and zero, I now have a really nice crinkled paper effect in the background. And I'm also seeing the color has changed to represent more of a sepia feel. So if I'm happy with this, I'll go and grab my crop tool. I'll crop this image out, just making sure that I don't have any aspect ratio selected. And when I'm done, I'll accept that and that'll look quite nice. So you can see if I was to show you a before and after by coming down to the last layer, alt clicking on it and then alt clicking again, there's quite a big change that's taken place just using my photo effects.